Hi everyone, welcome, I am Gloria and today we are going to practice hip drop technique and a small combination at the end. Let's start right away with a little warm up to prepare the body. Let's start with the arm to one side, move the wrist in circle, move your hands and come to the center, go up, reach up, create a circle with your hands and go down, move the hands, move the wrists, the wrist and go down again. One more time, go to the side, reaching out and relax, go one and two, three and four, moving the upper body, you are going to create this wavy motion in your arms and reach up again and relax down all the time, up, breathing and down, move your upper body now in circle. Nice, and change direction, forearm, side, back and side, front, relaxing your head, now in circle, change direction, slowly to the other side, nice, move the shoulders to the back, one, two, three and four to the front, one, two, three and four, the hips are in circle, nice, and change, one and two, three and four, and change to the other side, the feet are in parallel position, we are just preparing the body, change position, before we start with our hip drop technique. Nice, bend your knees, bend straight, bend and straight. Breathe in and out, move your arms. And breathe in and out, bend and straight, bend. Good, two more, one, and two, very nice. So we are going to start with our hip drop. And for this it's very important that you know that this movement in oriental dance is very mechanic uh, with your body. So you need just to focus in your hip flexor and the position of your knees as well. And the position uh, from the, the hips and the pelvis. So it's very important that your pelvis keep in a neutral position, not going forward or backward, just in a neutral position to use the best of your hip drop with a good technique. Let's start with a parallel position. Let's go with a slower, Good. Tempo and just feel how your knee is bending and at the same time is creating this stretching and bending and your femur is connected with your pelvis so these uh, bones are connecting here in the middle and moving the hip. So move your knees, lift and drop. This is very mechanic in your body. You will feel how your pelvis is active, your hips and your knees. And this impulse to go up is coming from your knees. Up and down. Good. So if you have the feet in contact with the floor, you will feel how it's deeply connecting the movement with the hips 
and this line, this horizontal line, is moving in a diagonal way. So diagonal going up and then going down and creating the opposition going up as well. So if you use your knees and keep your pelvis in neutral position, your movement, your hip drop will be fluid and you will have also a better mobility in your hips. So now change, let's uh, use now the impulse from the hip but as well from your um, feet as well. So your heels are going up, up, like climbing up and up. So now let's create the opposition. Feel how your weight is more in one side of your body and lift up to go down. So in order to create this drop accent, you need to come from a lift and drop and lift and drop as well. We are not putting any pressure in the feet and we are not rotating the ankle. We are just keeping the knees straight, focusing in one line to the front and go up and down, up and down. And now a little bit more of accent, down, lift up and down, flexing, straightening the leg and the knee and using the obliques and going down, up and down. The glutes are also active, the muscles change. We are now in parallel position, just practicing the hip drop. The other side, up and down, lifting and then drop. Good, one and two, one and two, lift and drop, lift, very soft, very gentle, using the muscles and going down, up and down, the obliques are active and down, one more time, very good. So now, in parallel position, let's use the same flat motion, keep your knees bending, and use the mechanic of the pelvis, going up and down, and up and down. Keep reaching, growing with your upper body. One, and two, and three, and four. Relaxing the pelvis because it's important that you are not pushing, you are not using your posterior or your interior, you are just keeping the pelvis in a neutral position to have the fluidity and also to protect your spine. Keep breathing and moving. One, two, three and four. Let's create the motion now with the heels. We are going to up and down and up and down and up and down. Very good. Change, Let's change, change to have a one, two, three, four and drop, drop, drop and drop again one two three and four one two three and four so you are using now your heels and pressing the floor pressing pressing good keep your pelvis in neutral position good one and two and three and four. Very good. So we are finding this diagonal. We are using the diagonal 
we are using the opposition of the body and we are using as well the shifting of the weight. Good, so now let's change the posture of the feet. Let's place one feet in front and the other a little bit back. Change, diagonal, open and place the feet in front. Change, tip, change and tip and one and two and three and four. Change and change. Very good. So now change, place the feet here, go up and drop. Change, up, drop. Change, up and drop. When we are going up, lifting up, use the movement very gentle because the accent is down. Drop. Good. Lift, drop, change and lift, drop, change, lift, drop. With the music, one more time. Very good. So we are ready to drop. Lift, drop, change, down, change, up and down, change, up, down, change. Very gentle, up, drop, down, up, down, change. Be aware of the posture of the pelvis. As well, your ankles, your feet, not using extra rotation, just going up straight and down. Very good, one more time, change and drop. Good, very good. So now we are going to do the same drop. Now double, double, double drop and drop, drop, change. Drop, drop, change. Drop, drop, change. Drop, drop, change. We are not sitting at this moment. We are up in opposition. The upper body is growing. Keep there. Drop, drop, change. Change. One, two. One, two. Play with your arms. One, two. One, two. One, two, your chest is open. Breathe in, in and out. Drop, drop, change, posture. Drop, drop, change, posture. Drop, drop, bend, straight. And drop, drop, bend, straight. Drop, drop. So when we are here, your stand leg is still bending the, the knee. So we are using this as a support of our body. So one more time, drop, drop, change, drop, drop, and stop here. Very good. So now we have the single hip drop and the double hip drop. We are just going to focus now in, again, in this parallel position, but now using the half point to just move the hips, dropping and dropping and dropping down. For this, you are going to need your quadriceps and as well as your knees for a better balance. And of course, your hips always in motion. So one more time, let's use the second position as our base to practice. Bend a little bit your knees, keep your pelvis straight. And go. One, two, drop, 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 and drop. Look the feet, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Keep your pelvis in neutral position. Seven and eight. So I'm using the power of the muscles 
and you are using as well your posture so everything is in place to get to do this exercise. So one more time, place in parallel position, bend your knees. So this uh, movement is also known as Suhel Saki from this beautiful dancer that used this movement as a, a signature in her dance. So it's very important that you keep your belly button in to keep good, very good. Pelvis in the center. One, two, three, and four. So now let's use a little bit of extra <laughs> challenge here and let's go faster. So we are going in double tempo. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, let's do it with um, something a bit faster. Let's use Malfouf. So it's in double tempo. Good. So in the meanwhile, you can practice your one, two, one, two with half point, with relevé or with a, a flat position. Whatever is working for you at this moment, you can use your feet in contact with the floor. Drop, 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 drop. Or a little bit more challenging, lifting up, bending the knees and drop, drop. One, two, 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 one, two. Very good. Faster. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, 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 one. Growing with your upper body. Breathe in and out. Hip drop. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Nice. Breathe in. Exhale out. One more time. Placing the feet in this three-dimensional posture to create also angles and different um, perspective in your dance. Change position. And let's use it just a drop. Single drop. Drop change, drop and change, one more time, and drop, change, drop, change, drop, change, drop, double drop, double, double, one, two, one, two, one, two, last, one, two, and singles with releve. One, two. Good. Slower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. So now we are going to practice the next drop, hip drop. So we are going to use the hips like in this pendular motion to one side to the other side, shifting a little bit the weight one, two, three, 
three and four. And now with this pendular motion, you are going to introduce your hip drop. So you are going to one side, dropping the hip and lifting the other side and drop and drop and drop. One and two and three and four. So you are going to one side to the other side and at the same time you are using the hip drop. Let's do it with the music. So one more time placing your arms in second position to use this as a basic start and let's use some malfuf one more time and go and drop shifting I'm going to the side, pendular motion, side and lift and drop, 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 drop. So slide, side, side, side and drop, 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 drop. So you are going to tend to close a little bit your knees but don't overcross the knees because then you will cut the motion. So one more time. One, two, drop and drop. Enjoy. One, two, three and four. One, going to one side, to the other side and drop. Drop, 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 drop. One, two, three and four. Beautiful using those oblique muscles and as well as the hips to extend this pendular motion. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four with the hip drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, double, one, two, side and drop, side and drop, super, very good, very good, so now we are going to start with our small combination from today and we are going to use just a small transitional step to create this combination. We are going to use the arms and the a small arabesque with passe. So we are going to use our arabesque to create the connection between one side and the other side as well combining three steps to connect the passe. Passe and one, two and three. Passe, one, two and three. And pose, one, two, three. Pose, one, two, three. Pose, one, two, three. Pose, let it go. Free yourself. Feel the rotation. One, two, three. Use your arms. Beautiful, connecting with the floor, connecting as well with your frame, with your lines. One, two, three. One, two, three. Open your chest. Small steps. Passe. One, two, three. Passe. One, two, three. And passe. So we are going to use the drop the single drop, we are going to start here and use drop, but now in three different points. So we are going to use drop here, drop and drop. It's like creating a small rotation with your upper body and rotating as well with your feet and with your own. One, two, and three, it's like presenting and opening the drop. One, two, and three, and passe. One, two, three, passe. 
one, two, three, stop. One more time and drop, drop, drop. No, one more time. Drop, drop, drop. Rotation and moving the foot and one, two, three and passe. One, two, three, passe. One, two, three, stop. And you are again with your same leg. One more time. One, two, three, and drop, 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 passe. One, two, three, passe. One, two, three, stop. Beautiful with the music. Waiting for the music. Very good. One, two, three, and four. Drop, 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 passe. One, two, three, passe. One, two, three, and stop. One more time, same leg, because then we are going to go to the other side. One, two, three, and four. Drop, 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 passe. One, two, three, one, two, three, and pose. Now the other side. Drop, 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 and drop. One more time. Drop, drop, drop. Opening. Drop, drop, drop. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now, passe. One, two, three. Passe. One, two, three. And come back again with the same leg. One, two, three. Drop, drop, drop. Passe. Passe. Come back. Stop. One, two, three. Drop, drop, drop. Passe. One, two, three. Passe. One, two, three. Stop. Beautiful. One more time. Now using your right and your left side. Let's start with your right side. One, two, three, and four. Right, one, two, three, opening, and using the right. One, two, three, your left. One, two, three, come back again and change. Now with your left. One, two, three, and drop, 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 pass it. One, two, three, pass it. One, two, three, come back again with the same leg. One more time with the right and then with the left. One, two, and three, and drop, 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 pass it. One, two, three, pass it. One, two, three, come back and change. Drop, 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 passe, passe. Same leg, stay. And from here, let's move forward. Very good. So we have just the single three times connecting with your passe. You start with your right. You do the combination with the passe and steps, and then the other side to do the same combination, working with both sides. So now we are going to connect. We are here, and we are going to connect with the suherzaki, or in this double drop, 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 in double tempo, one, two, one, two, Hip drop, hip drop, hip drop. Good. And from here, from this hip drop, is coming as well the shimmy. So it's very important, this uh, hip drop, because then you can practice your shimmy with more action in the hips. So now let's do it. Hip drop, hip drop. One, two, three, and four. And now 
working with your upper body and going to do one turn to one side. So one, two, three, four, turn, and one, two, three, four, turn to the other side. Okay, let's do it. You can do it with flat position or using your releve for a faster motion. Same, same. One, two, three, and four. And drop, drop, drop. Turn, change. Drop, drop, drop. Turn, change. Drop, drop, drop. Turn, change. Drop, drop, drop. Turn, and change. Beautiful, if you can see, I'm doing as well a preparation to turn. So place in the feet. And one, two, three. Open and turn. One, two, three. Open and turn. Very nice. So now let's combine our single drop, hip drop, passe, and then single drop, 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 suherzaki with turning. From the top. One, starting with your right, three and four, and drop, 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 passe, one, two, three, passe, one, two, three, and stop, and change, the other leg, drop, 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 passe, one, two, three, passe, one, two, three, and stay, and one, two, three, four, stop, Turn and one, two, three, four, pose and turn and that's it. Now, let's do the last, the last combination to finish this small, small training that will improve your hip drop. So we are coming from one turn. We are coming to the front and now, you are going to do drops, the double drops, drop, drop, but now going backwards, drop, drop, going backwards, drop, drop, and drop, drop. So one more time, and drop, drop, change, drop, drop, your left, drop, drop, and then your right to finish here and go to the front, turning and pose. Very good. So that's it. That is the combination. Let's do it from here, from these double drops going back. Start placing your feet in front and drop, drop, change, drop, drop, change, drop, drop, step, drop, drop, step, pose, go to the front, turn, and final <laughs> pose. One more time to combine everything, and drop, drop, change, now with your right, change, left, left, right, right, turn, and pose. Now from the top, combining all the steps, one, two, three, and four, starting with your right. Drop, 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 passe. One, two, three, passe. One, two, three, come back and change. Drop, 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 passe. One, two, three, passe. One, two, three, passe. Come back and from here. Drop, 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 pose, and turn, drop, 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 pose, and turn, and we are going to the back, double, 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 drop, double, drop, pose, turn, final, 
pose. Very nice. Remember that you can do as well when we are doing this motion, you can do the second variation that is using your sides and using as well this kick a little bit more to the side. So let's do it one more time and that's it for today. Ready? Starting with your right. Very good. So we did a hip drop technique and a small combination. I'm going to just do a review of what we did before. We just move the hips, creating the hip drop motion using the mechanic of your body, connecting with your femur, connecting with your pelvis and using the joint, using the hip flexor to create this hip drop motion. We did the basic one, just singles. We did as well a variation in our combination doing three, three, three. We did as well a double accent that you can also combine moving to the back moving to the front so you can create your own combinations to get forward and do as well your choreographies and you will improve as well your shimmies when you work this basic drop hip drop accent so i hope you enjoyed this hip drop technique and combination with me See you next time in our next live class or our next tutorial. Enjoy. Bye-bye. See you.